with like a choke. The guy is phenomenal, once in a lifetime guy. Yeah, we're, you know, we're kind of bombs at 70 yards. I, I gotta tell you, you, you mentioned in the green room, Kevin, this guy's even good looking. He has charisma, he's got poise. Bobby, I've never seen anything like this in my time. Konnichiwa, Minasan. Kill this. So I will be reacting to a video of how commentators evaluation of Otani Shohei uh, changes over time. Um, basically, I guess his rags to riches story. So without further ado, you can my show. For a great deal out of him to do this in this way. Now, if you want to bring him up here to hit, I can understand that, and maybe the numbers are long, the sample size is low, whatever it is. As if the hit and pitch seems to be too much, and the pitching seems to be even farther behind than the hitting is, I would not have it pitching above the Japanese league, which is a strong league, but it's not the highest level of baseball that we're doing, like the major leagues. He probably should be starting out in the minor leagues. This scout said he probably should be at A ball right now. But he did say, look, at that first bubble, he tends to back off and not trust himself. This scout told me to trust himself more and not more successful. This music's too loud. that they botched with the approach to this one, because let's be real about it. Was he really going to throw and play position during the week two or three times already? No, he's still only one human. So they probably should have just decided whether or not he was going to be a position player or whether or not he was going to be a pitcher that can hit and gone from there and let it develop by jumping. I guess it says three years later, sore cara. Sore cara. The designated hitter and the starting pitcher. From the Los Angeles Angels, Shohei Otani. expecting a big show from him. I mean, the thing is, fellas, he's such a unique and historic talent that he makes all-star clubhouse rosters stop and watch what he's doing. I mean, he... You, you always say, okay, well, Babe Ruth. But really, if, if you go back to Babe Ruth's seasons, there was essentially one where he was a full-time pitcher and a hitter. He, he, you know, this is an anomaly. I mean, no, Frank, he's got 33 bombs and 70 yards. I, I gotta tell you, you, you mentioned in the green room, Kevin, this guy's even good looking. He has charisma, he's got poise. Bobby, I've never seen anything like this in my time. I totally agree with you. What this young man is doing is, I couldn't do what he was doing at Westminster Christian where your son goes to school now. I couldn't do that in Little League or high school. He's making- Shohei Otani is my big guy. We played the big league for a long time and we know uh, what it takes to have a routine as a position player and as a pitcher. And this guy is dealing with both of them. This might be one of our lifetime thing that we get to experience, the guy that can do oh, bit and go deep. It's the Grom on the mound, he hits home runs like Big Poppy, and the truth is, the fastest guy on that Angels roster, uh, Angel League Baseball, looked like a joke. The guy is phenomenal, once in a lifetime guy. Yeah, we're, you know, we're kind of the guys at the break. I mean, that's a and, he's, and he's pitching those other days, he's gotta focus on pitching. Uh, think about this, he's in a home run derby, he's got 12 stolen bases. You know, this is something I've never seen, and I respect the guy, he's one of the greatest talents. Even 
It's uh, I've never seen anything like it, you know. So I'm excited to you know kind of see them up close and personal and uh, be rooting behind in the derby for sure. It's tough to describe, so you know it's uh, like I've been saying, you know, what he does on the mound, um, even his demeanor. You know, he's a, he's got that quiet confidence. Uh, you know, he's a guy that knows he belongs, knows he belongs. Um, plays a lot of heart, plays a lot of hustle. You know, but there's so many people here that we're, we're trying to talk to. But I'm definitely gonna gonna try to sit down and talk to him a little bit, and because uh, I'm interested to to get to know him. I want to get a jersey signed by him, honestly. <laughs> I need some questions? sign with all this stuff. Some questions for him? Um, yeah, well, that the first question here, BK, can you can you sign something for me? Because uh, <laughs> I definitely want to get, uh, I'm going to try to get an Otani jersey signed. And, uh, I mean, that's a... Uh, I'm inspired. I think his story, Shohei's story, is a testament to what hard work and dedication gets for you. Coming from Japan, you know, Japan, I guess compared to the West, may not be seen as a country where legendary people come out of. So when he first started the league, you know, a lot of people were underestimating him. They were disregarding him. He wasn't anyone special. And I imagine that for him, it probably hurt him a lot because it's like, you're you're a Japanese person who finally made it to the, like the may the biggest baseball league in the world, and you have a lot of people doubting you. I mean that can definitely affect their confidence, but I can see that he probably didn't allow that to affect him and affect his drive to be better at the sport. And now he got the respect he deserves. I mean he's put in the work, and the work is is being displayed. You know, he's hitting home runs. He's a great pitcher and a great hitter. And to me, it, it inspires me to, you know, not give up. Even when people underestimate you and people don't see your value and people, you know what I'm saying, they don't, they, they, they think you're less than nothing. Like the point is to keep going, keep working on your craft and eventually your work will, will speak for you. But Otani should be an example of that. It's all about how you think up here. He's a guy from Japan who made it to the major leagues in America, but is not only a prominent Japanese player, he's just a great player overall. So let that be a testament to you that it's not, it doesn't matter where you come from, but as long as you put in the work, the dedication uh, to go where you wanna go and to accomplish your dreams, anything's possible because it's not how you start, it's how you end. So don't underestimate yourself because you come from a certain place and you know, be proud for where you are, where you're from, but understand that it's really hard work that gets you there. It's not because you were born in America or born in the West that you're naturally good. Anyone can work on their craft, be good at their craft. So I think he's a testament that any Japanese person, if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything and you can even make it big in the West. Pretty much no matter where you're from, you can make it. So let this be an encouragement to you to go after what you want and don't give up. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Also hit that bell as well to get notified whenever we post a video. Arigatou gozaimasu, minna. Kyo tsukete. Ganbatte. Mira como mueve, así, morena, mira como goza, goza, morena.